Hello and welcome to another how-to video by American Wireless Alarm. Today we're going to be covering remote download via web browser for a video file on a high vision uh, or LTS, NVR or DVR. First thing we're going to do is, um, uh, I like to do is uh, create a folder on my desktop to save files to. You'll do this by right-clicking on the desktop, going down to New, go to Folder, create a folder, name it. I typically call it DVR recordings, DVR files, whatever you want to record it. I've already got mine set up. So it is here and that's where my video files go to. Next, I'm going to launch Internet Explorer. Make sure you're not using Edge, you're using Internet Explorer. And um, I'm going to right click on the Internet Explorer icon, right click on it again and run as administrator. And that is important if I want to be able to download video files. Then I'll go to my DVR login, either the DDNS or the uh, IP address, and then I will log in using my username and password. Okay, so if I'm just setting up uh, my uh, web browser for the first time, uh, I've got a, what do I have here, 16 channel uh, recorder, but no video files uh, are projecting into the multiplex screen here. So I'm going to go into my configuration tab. I'm going to go to local configuration on the top left menu. And there's a couple of settings I want to change. One is resume live view status. I'm going to change that to yes. The other one is auto start live view. I'll change that to yes. They typically default at no. And uh, so you've got to make that change. The second thing you'll want to do is you'll want to change the path that it comes up with to the path of the folder we created on the desktop. The simplest way to do this is just click on the browse, go to your desktop, which I'm at, and then there it is, the DVR recording. So I'll click on that, hit OK, and it will have now change it from what it was to this, and I'll do that to all of the paths here so that whenever I save something, whether it be a snapshot, video clip, uh, it all goes to the same folder. Once I'm done with that, make sure you hit Save. Okay, now we're going to go to playback because we've obviously, we've played something back. It was really, really important. We want to save it forever, uh, and eventually the DVR will overwrite it. So I'm going to do a playback, and let's say it's camera number one that I had an issue uh, with as far as the um, information. My calendar populates, and I'm going to pick the day I want to download the file from. It was the first. And then I'm going to click on search, and to make sure I'm where I'm supposed to be, you want to make sure that this shows me that information. So I'm still lagging a little bit, waiting for it to uh, go. There it is. Just went to the first, and now I can hit the play. And it's always going to start playing right at midnight. Then I can drag my timeline to the pertinent information that I wanted to make sure and uh, save. Now apparently, since we've installed this system, this palm tree has grown into the screenshot and they're getting a lot of false positives. But let's say this file here right at the uh, 1851 minute mark is the critical video that we want to save. So that's what I'm going to download. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom of the menu and on the down arrow, hover over it, it'll say download, but I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up my download box to allow web. Yes. Um, come up with my download folder. And then if I want to get specific, I can put in here, search from, and it's going to narrow down the search that I've got. Uh, so I can put in the date, and that was on the 1st. And from, let's say, 1800. And do the search. Now it's compiling my list, and now it's all starting at the 1800. I look for that 1855 file, or whatever time it was that I said was important. And I'm just scrolling through and looking at that file. There we are, 1855 and 15 seconds through 1855 and 37 seconds. That was that critical video. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I'm going to click on Download up here. And we'll watch the process download. It is now completed. I'm going to go ahead and open the folder. 
and today's date is the 4th. You can see I've downloaded video back on March 20th. So each day that I download something, it's going to create a folder for that date. And then all the files will be in there from the dates I've downloaded. And then the most current one right here, and there's the file that we talked about playing back. If this was helpful, give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe, click on the little bell so you get alerts when it uh, all uh, comes in and we send you a new video. Thank you very much for watching.